humankind endeavors to claim the riches of the land as well as the sea. Geologist William Logan explored the Gaspé Peninsula in the mid-19th century. In search of oil and coal, he would be the first to identify the region's oil sites. Around 1860, the first wells were drilled in the Gaspé area, where traces of oil and petroleum had been found. But no land deposit is ever enough. The sea alone is generous. In 1913, at the International Geological Society Conference, this small park was inaugurated in homage to William Logan, the founding father of geology in Canada. When the First World War broke out in 1914, Per se seemed a long way away from the cannon fire. But the far-off conflict had unexpected consequences for the tiny fishing village, as demand for smoked cod soared in Europe, especially in Italy. Catches doubled, but slowed down after the war again, as prices fell and recession and misery set in. Two stone plaques in this park mark the involvement of young men and women from Per Se in conflicts around the world. During the First World War, many of them would come to know the horrors of the trenches, a world away from the fresh sea air and the rock. Among them, three would never return. Their names are inscribed here. At long last, reunited with the sea. Herbert Lamb, John Boucher, and Jean Laflamme.